We did it, wizard. We found Lemuria. At last, I am here. But now that I am here, what do I do? I have no further drive, no impulse. My need is met. Lemuria is saved. I find relief in this, but also emptiness. I never had objectives before. I simply was. There was literally naught to do but exist. And now I... Ha-ha! <laughs> the headache I've had all this time is gone! Ha-ha! Is it? Curious. I don't think I'm doing anything differently. Though I feel odd. I must consider this. I will find you again later. And now I have also discovered Lemuria. But where are the lemurs? Monkey creatures, big eyes. Let's go meet them. Right, welcome back to the death walkthrough. We have made it to Lemuria. Ah! Everybody panic! Skittish fellows, aren't they? I think I saw some of the rascals flee into that tallish building over there. We must tell them they are free to adventure! Right, let us head over and follow the lemurs. Man, it's been a while since we've done this, but welcome back. Hope you're all enjoying. Um, yeah, let's... Go free the lemurs. What do we have? This should be fine. Hopefully, maybe we'll see. We will see. Um, but yeah, I can't remember. I think this is like 309 or something. Episode 39, 309, which is pretty cool. Pretty crazy. Big number. Big boy number. Calm yourselves, my friends. All will be explained in the fullness of time. For now, I need your aid to protect Telos from the threat of... And, and when exactly is the fullness of time? Hierarch? Today? Tomorrow? When the sky changes again? When the earth shakes our city to dust? Or when the great squid, the fabled founder, makes his prophesied return? Ease yourselves. You didn't fear that tentacular menace ever again. My good friend, the wizard, tells me he is dead. Oh dear. Dead? The strangers bring portents of our destruction. There is only one solution. Destroy them first! Uh oh, I honestly think Stallion needs to just shush sometimes. Like he just needs to take a take take some time to just be a little bit quieter and just not mention things that they probably care about. You know, their leader probably care about him. Just saying, just a suggestion. Maybe he can work on that. Who knows? Anyway, these guys, um, Ice and Fire rank number eighteen, which is very cool. Vast majority of mobs in Lemuria are rank eighteen. Um, don't know exactly their full stats i don't know if they're on the wiki yet either so um i would assume probably like 50 to 80 ish probably around 50 maybe slightly less resist to um fire it's actually balance as well fire and uh, uh ice and balance um i would say that normal resist rules would apply um they have 4700 health and 4040 health which isn't too bad not too shabby um, I think a Scarecrow will be fine. I think a Scarecrow will be fine here. Um, but yeah, these guys are cute. I like the lemurs. They look really cute. They're a little bit skittish. Um, but they're cool. Very, very cool. Yeah. So, yeah, welcome to Lemuria. This is actually... I was really afraid when Lemuria was teased, um, that it would be kind of way too similar to every single other world that is out there. Mainly because... The vast majority of it is just a combination of previous worlds, and you'll see that as we go through. Um, but I'm actually quite happy with how it turned out. I'm not going to spoil it because, you know, I'm not going to do that. I ain't doing that. But um, it's a great world. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, and some of the areas are very cool. We didn't kill. He's got 134 health. Oh, my gosh. We'll hit with the ship of fools next, I guess. Maybe I should carry just an emergency ghoul. Maybe I should start doing that. And an emergency ghoul, just in case this happens. I should do that. I should do that. Finish the fight one round quicker, just in case. Maybe I should start doing that. Probably would be ideal. We'll just put an emergency ghoul in, just in case. Sounds like a good idea. We'll do that after this fight. Right. Two blades. They do blade stack a lot, these guys. They're like crazy. These guys crazy. Crazy, crazy. 
Um, I think they have quite a decent amount of damage and PS as well, so that's slightly worrying, but hey, it's fine. They're not ridiculously hard. Most of the mobs aren't exactly difficult. Some of the bosses are, but most of the mobs are pretty easy clap, you know? They're not too challenging for the vast majority of people. Right, GG. There we go. He's definitely dead now. Love to see it. Love to see it. That didn't work! On to the universal contingency! Everybody panic! Panic and flee! Flee and flee things! That did not go as I expected. <laughs> Clearly, you must truly be strangers if you don't know the universal contingency of the le- Noise! There was a scary noise! Hmm, seems there was no noise. For now, come outside, strangers. I feel we have much to discuss. Right, the Supreme Hierarch. What do you want to tell us? What are we discussing with you? What is it we're discussing with you? I don't know if we should discuss with you. You seem a little bit misinformed. What do you say? Horse kind cannot be so. We are the children of he you call Old One, chosen to maintain this world he has created. And while others may have given up his edicts in his long absence... We here in his kingdom of Telos keep to our duties, awaiting his return. But the sky changes, the ground shakes, and the wildlands run wilder. We know not what this means. My sisters went to the sanctums to investigate, but our great enemies from the wilds have seized this opportunity to attack. Worry not, the wizard will rush to their aid while I tell you of this wonderful thing I discovered called the Spiral. Beware, stranger. The Kula Kamba are vicious and uncivilized criminals ejected from Telos. They will show you no mercy. No mercy? That's a challenge I take personally. Um, so this telepad here is how you get around the um, world. Obviously, we can only go to Telos, but um, yeah. When, when we've gone to other places, that's where you go, just in case you didn't know. Um, this is the map, by the way. Very cool. Shows where we're going to be going. Um, we're obviously in Telos, Wildlands, Ursai Village, Heap, Badlands, Mandoria, Night Forest, and Sky City. Very cool, very exciting. Kind of a smallish, like, regions of this map. There's not ridiculously too many. I think it's, what, nine of them? Um, which isn't, you know, large. It isn't small either. Uh, but yeah, I, I would have loved, liked it if there was a couple more areas. Um, but that's fine. That's fine. Let's go here. What, what happened here? Who, who here? Please, please, please load. Game, please, please. I have had some weird, like, really long loading screens recently. And it is slightly frustrating. I don't know what causes it. Because it is... Where is your ancient liar now, huh? Not here. That's where. For all your fawning, guess who got the power? We did. The outcast. <laughs> and now, we will poke you all with tiny spears. As I was saying, um... Uh, I've had long loading screens, and I can tell you it's not my internet this time, so, yeah, kind of annoying, kind of strange. I didn't put a goal in. Oh, no, we're gonna die. Um, so these guys are rank 18. They're same health, I would assume same stats as the balance guys that we are fighting just before. Um, so we're just gonna quickly blade into a scarecrow. Should hopefully kill them. Um, we do boost on them, so that's cool. Obviously, because they're balanced, um, which means spirit schools boost, which is lovely. Very, very lovely. Two pips. Yikes. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Another two pips. Oh my gosh. Why, why does he need so many pips? I am slightly worried. <laughs> what is he going to do with all of those pips? I don't know. I don't like it. That's all I know. I do not like it. It is not cool. Zero out of ten. Not cool. Right. Crit, blade, lovely. GG, they did. Nice. Yeah. We boost. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Easy clap. Not too difficult. The right, let's see what they got. Ugh! What kind of lemur are you? Never mind, do you know what's happening? Because I don't, the sky changed, so I panicked, which didn't solve anything, so I came here to check the mana levels. My family has monitored Lemuria's mana for generations, watching it dwindle. We sat idle as the magic that holds our world together faded away. And then sometimes we panicked, universal contingency and all that. But now the mana levels are higher than ever. You know what that means? 
panic? No, I'll do that. You go check on the other sanctum. The mana has driven the outcasts mad with power. You must save the other hierarchs. Okay, so basically, the issue here is um, that they've got too much mana. Because, you know, that's an issue. <laughs> that's an issue. Um, so for those of you who, um, it's been a while since the last episode, so I'll just quickly recap what the problem is. We set, um, Lemuria free into the spiral, um, because it was dying, aka lack of mana. Um, thus meaning it can obtain all of the mana that is inside the spiral. Um, however, there is a catch because the world rending devices in this world, we need to find it and stop it and destroy it. Um, before it gets to other worlds that are in the spiral. So... Yeah, slight problem, but otherwise it's okay. Tell me what it says! It says, it's impossible, but it says life force levels are fine. There's a green wavy line in everything. It always used to be a red wavy line. My father's mother's grandparent once told me of an orange wavy line, but never green. But what does it mean? A green wavy line? I can only assume it means one thing. We're doomed! Panic! Then let us be doomed! As long as the hierarchs are the first to fall! Okie dokie. These guys are life, rank 18. Um, look kind of cute, not gonna lie. Um, I love their wee little spears. I really want one. I think they're cool. Uh, 4,275 health. Um, again, probably gonna be boosting on them. They probably have shields though, so slightly worried about that. But it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, crit, what is this? This is, okay, just a natural attack. Want it? Fine. Fine. I, I see how it is. I see you. Um, another one. Okie dokie. Uh, yeah, I don't know exactly what spells they have, but I would assume they have shields. Generally, most things these days have some form of shielding, um, of their boost school. So, you know, they're getting smarter, I guess. I guess they're getting smarter or whatever you want to call it. Uh, right, let's see if this kills shield. Don't you, okay, that's fine. This is fine. This is probably... Yeah, that's okay. That actually helps us a lot. Please do that as well. Don't shield. Don't shield. No, 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 no. Okay, thank you. <laughs> as soon as they shield, it's like, good luck for me because I am very pierced light. Very, very pierced light. I have not much of it at all. So it's slightly issue. Slightly issue. Um, one of them blocked, which is not cool. He did not die. Oh, no, he did die. No, he didn't die. I didn't think he did. Um, again, emergency... <laughs> emergency ghoul would come in handy here. Should probably put one in. Oh, well. Oh, well. We'll we'll do that after this fight, maybe. This is a weakness. Not cool. Not cool. Zero out of ten. Kablamo. Yikes. Yikes. Yikesies. It doesn't really matter. Minus 25% on a spell that would do, like, 2,000... I think we'll be fine. I think we can kill him. I'm pretty sure. Except if he shields here. He didn't shield. It's just a blade. Panic over. I'm becoming the lemurs. I'm panicking too much. I need to just relax and not panic. I think that is my problem. I need to relax and not panic. Um, right, crit. And he is dead. Probably right. Dead, 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 dead. Yep. Okay. Easy clap. Easy clap. Fantastic. You sure shoot them off, whoever you are. But there are bigger problems. Lemuria's life force, the measure of its habitability, is green. I don't know what that means. And it will take years of exhaustive research to study and figure- Oh, is that what it is? That is still a lot to take in. I would normally meditate in the sanctum of purpose. There's a monster in there now! Actually, would you mind? Okay, yep. We'll just do all of the dirty work for these lemurs. Fair enough. Understandable, you know. We we become the liaison um, to usher them into the spiral, and then we just have to do all of their dirty work. Makes sense. Makes complete sense. Completely. Um, I love these posters of the old one. They're, they're really cool. Just so many of them. So many of them. Love to see it. Love to see it. Right. Sanctum of purpose. I wonder what our purpose is. Please give me purpose. Um, it's a sankless job, as we have found out. Very sankless. So sad. So sad. Uh, right. Da, 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 da. I don't know who you are or what.
what you are, or where you came from, or why, or how, I could probably guess when. But the manor flows freely again. The outcasts become the kings, and the old ways die. Okie dokie, boss time. Yay, yay, yay. Let's put in some extra feints, I think. Um, we're also going to put in a couple of these, just because I'm slightly... Actually, you know what? We won't do that. We'll do actual death blades. <laughs> we'll do actual death blades. That sounds good. Um, right, okay. So... We have a potent as well. We'll just potent that faint. Sure. We've got a trained carnosaur, which is dinosaur. And he is a uh, fire and storm, apparently. Rank 19 elite. 4,320 health. Um, normal resist, I would assume, for both of those schools. Um, and then we've got the uh, the Beastmaster, which is rank 20 boss, who has 10,935 health. Probably can cast Earthquake, and will probably cast Earthquake all of the time. But that's fine. Watch this be an earthquake right now. Oh, it's the new Sasquatch spell. Also, I think it's maxed here as well because it's got the glow on it, which is cool. Splash Squatch, I think it's actually called. Oops. Oops. I got rocked. Get rocked, kid. That's what he said to me. And I got rocked. Very sad. Very sad. Tragic. Um, bum, ba, dum, bum. We'll do this blade, I guess. I'm just waiting for him to cast a earthquake on me. Okay, not an earthquake. That's good. That's good. I'm glad it is not an earthquake. You have learned and you have changed your ways. The myth is no more spam earthquake. Also, I think this guy can cast Efreet as well. I'm just saying that because he's, um, mainly because he's fire. So, wouldn't be surprised, honestly. But, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if he casts Efreet on me. Okay, another natural attack. Lovely. Yeah, just keep spamming that. That's fine. I don't mind. I don't mind. It does a lot, but I don't mind. See if I care. I don't. I don't care. Lima, man. I don't. Do not care at all. Um, We'll do one more blade, and then we'll hit. And that should probably... It'll definitely kill the minion. Um, It'll do a decent amount of damage on the boss. Also, because we do want to hit before blades start getting removed. Um, And the dinosaur has quite a few pips. And I'm slightly worried about Leviathan at this point, so yeah. Not that I know that he can cast it, but if he can, that would be slightly worrying. Just slightly. Okay, this is Hephaestus. That's fine. We can take that. We can take that. Hi, buddy. How, how's it been? It's been a while since I've seen you. How, how's your wife? How's the kids? They're good? Oh, that's great. Please don't hurt me too much. Just a little bit. Just a little bit is fine, but not too much. Thank you. 800, that's fine. That is okay. I will accept. I will accept that. Um, this won't be an e free Not an e free an earthquake. It is a snake charmer, though. This could do a lot of damage. This could probably kill me. This could be bad. <laughs> oh, no. Um, don't crit. I didn't crit. That's good. This will not kill me. He did not crit. He can't kill me if he doesn't crit. Yeah, that would have done a lot. That would have done, like, two to 3,000. Yikes. Probably wouldn't have died, but it would have been close. Just as well, we're getting all of that health back right here. Lovely. One, two, three, four blades. Nice. And they're all dead. Lovely. GG. Easy clap. Didn't even need faints. Faint? I don't know her. She doesn't go here. Lovely. What are we doing here? Was that an Aztecasaur? Ah, I see. Well, there doesn't appear to be an imperiled lemur here. Maybe that book has answers. That's a good thing. Reading is always important. Very important. Let's just take out these veins because I don't think we'll need them. Life without purpose is empty. Existence without meaning is wasteful. Thus, the meaning of Lemuria is unity. And the purpose of a lemur is to maintain that unity in my absence. Be strong, my children. Be patient. And know that I will always return to you. Note to whomever follows. I've gone to the wildlands in search of the sanctum of secrets. Do not follow. Unless you feel I need help or am in terrible danger, then follow very quickly. I take it we are to follow? Yeah, I take it so. I take it as that is the case. We're going to go talk to the nothing. 
The Nothing. It's his name now. The Nothing. He is nothing. That is all he is. He is nothing. He doesn't mean anything. I have pondered much since I last appeared. And I have decided something. I wish to be not nothing, but something. I wish to exist as you do. But the old one's words ring truly. Existence requires purpose. Being requires doing. And perhaps in doing, I can find out who, not what, I am. Thus, I wish to help you find the world synthesizer. A secret sanctum of the old one seems a logical starting point. But when I search his memories, I find many such places. In deserts, in forests, in fire. I don't know which we seek. But the wildlands, I know, are beyond this city's walls. Perhaps the missing hierarch can guide us. Right, and that is where we're going to end off for today. Hope you enjoyed. Um, smash like for Telos. Very cool. And as always, remember to craft outside the box.